Hello guys, a uh, very good evening. Today is August 22nd. Another episode of daily trade recaps and teachings by Ripster. So guys, today um, was really good day. The one setup was the biggest today that I'm going to teach you today and talk about the setup which is gap up gap fill. So it's a gap fill short. Those what those setups are like if the market is gapping up pretty pretty high and if it fails on a pre-market highs and then breaks the pre-market support and then EMA clouds, then you fade it for the gap fill. So I will explain that in the end, uh, what the gap fill is. We will talk about it or I can just go through while talking about the trades. Um, for example, I'll just uh, tell it right now before I go to the trade recaps. So for example, NVIDIA today was gapping up um, one second here. So as you see, Nvidia was gapping up. What is a gap? The gap is the price action that takes place from the market close yesterday to the market open today. So all the transactions that happen in the pre-market. So I was talking about the gap fill setup. So what is a gap? Again, the gap is the price change in the pre-market and after hours from where the market closes yesterday to where the market opens next day. So that is our gap, very simple concept and this is the overnight gaps. And sometimes we have gap downs, gap ups can be due to the news, the market environment, whatever the reason is. But we as a traders look for a gap as an opportunity because gap highs and lows act as a support and resistance because there's a the low volume is traded in the pre-market or after hours where the institutions are not there or it's mostly a retail volume so that price action creates a gap so anybody who was in yesterday he would like to, he or she would like to take the profit or or because it has gapped so much and that's an opportunity from whoever that was swinging it overnight they can take it um, uh, you know they can take profits so that's, that's how we get the gap. So today I'm only going to talk about gap up, gap fills, short. And then we will talk about gap fill. I have a lot of examples on my Twitter, hundreds of examples of the gap fill setup. So just like overnight, we overnighted NVIDIA, we overnighted Tesla. That's, you know, I put it in my community that I'm overnighting it. I also overnighted BABA. And I took my profits right at open because of we were already up on NVIDIA from um, from uh, uh, let's see what was the close price on Nvidia yesterday so Nvidia let me see let me look quickly so Nvidia the close price was 469 right somewhere uh, 469 469 67 so you see the gap was from the 469 to the opening price of today which was 481.87 so how do we decide that we want to have a gap gap fill short there's a few ways we do that first of all we want to see is it holding the first candle is it holding you can look at the five minute candle or you can look at the five ten minute candle so all you have to see is is it holding a certain level or it's is it not holding let's let's check here one second so let's see if the five minute candle, so you see the five minute candle is not creating a new high and it's breaking down or it's not holding a certain level. And you draw these pre-market levels, right? Like I have 479s or 475s. And then your risk is the pre-market high. When you see this wick and you know it's fading and you can take a starter on the gap fills and then you hold to see if any levels are holding or not. If this levels break down, you can add into your short because you know your first target is the gap fill, right? So I will show you how I was guiding on the gap fill as well. And then similar setups that we had on um, uh, Tesla. So, right, so Tesla had this gap, you know, pre-market high as your resistance. And you already know this is a big move overnight. So, of course, and, and we don't, we watch the price action. If Tesla was holding here, and we would have not started because we know you know that it can bounce right away another thing is on my system it's breaking the EMA clouds you see here it was never able to reclaim the EMA clouds 
so this is one of the best you know gap up days or gap down days are the best you know today we killed it we sized really good in all our trades and these are just the few examples and i also sometimes draw a fibonacci so fibonacci tool we go here and we take the fibonacci tool what we do is um, we we create from yesterday's close to today's open we create a fibonacci extension and then we see what levels it can pull back to right so it pull back to the half the retracement of the gap so fibonacci is nothing but a range how much range it has moved and how much range it can pull back to so if you see the uh, fibonacci is the um, there was this was our fibonacci and that's how i can find the targets in the gap if i don't really have a levels to trade off so similarly tesla rejected the pre-market highs that's your risk you start and if it's failing the ema clouds or the pre-market level you get you add more in and then you trade it accordingly all day fade fill the gap and then it you know it bounced sometimes it will fill the gap and keep going and you know but usually my first target is the gap fill after that everything is free money as long as the trend is down as you see here you can still trade it you know trend is down ema cloud is down you can just trade it so this big trades today on the tesla you know nvidia took the profits and you know then the shorted for the gap fill you traded the puts so amazing trades on these two setups that i want to teach and we and it and you wait, wait for such setups when they show you don't take too much loss because sometimes it will push it's not every time it will happen sometimes it will push it will push higher over pre atxg maybe into 10 am trend or too few candles then you stop out and you wait and then it fails then you look for a level to risk and then it fills the gap and sometimes it doesn't fill the gap if it if it held this level that's fine it's holding the gap you know there's no trade then you leave it alone but if, if the gap is filling you have to look at the, all the parameters and then you have to trade and this was my guidance in the pre-market that's what i strictly talked about that i was on the voice that today is the gap update if the gap fails that's what we're going to short and there's going to be profit you can see these were our overnights baba nvidia and tesla right and um, and that's why we took the profits and then there were the gap down trades like right at the market open i said profit taking profit taking profit taking right so the profit taking into the gap and that's what happened you know um or those were the gap fill trades nvidia under the ema clouds gap fill then i also shorted spy and qqq at the same time they were filling the gap as well this is the gap qqq so i was scalping the gap my target was 365 my initial morning trade which was done and same target was on spy so into the gap shorts working perfect nvidia was still heavy nvidia was still heavy and you always start a starter size right if you think i don't want to chase just take one third one fourth one fifth position be part of the trade doesn't matter about the money but at least you get used to you you get used to the the setup right it everything has to be a setup you get used to the setup you start to know what is working and next time the setup shows you will be ready you will be ready to nail that gap fill setup so take it as long as you have a risk find that risk and hit it so this is just today's example of the gap fill shorts and the puts went crazy this was very nice we were done by the morning and then we had a bunch of our other trades which i will recap in a bit so tesla gap filling nvidia heavy as you see everything time stamped scalping that and not only that i'll talk about my levels so you know because these levels are the resistance pivots right so resistance pivots were 482 right here for nvidia gap fill amd my resistance pivot was 108.90 right here that's the resistance pivot for the gap fill so you see the levels they work flawlessly let's look at microsoft so microsoft my my resistance pivot was 326.20 and that was your risk to short but you see 
Microsoft was was holding the EMA clouds, then you know it's not going to gap fill. That's not a big gap, so you just take off here or you don't be the part of this trade this was not a trade like nvidia or tesla was so that's why i didn't focus on that same thing for apple apple was holding it was okay it pushed back but it was holding from the ema clouds it was holding this pre-market buyers 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 one week two week three week so you have to differentiate with the levels the extensions your pre-market levels look at spy qq how to trade these gaps so next time you have a gap up day, remember your rules, how to trade, trade the gap up. Don't get squeezed, wait for the right, just find your risk level like I have here that I give, I give these levels every morning and usually they work. And when they don't work, you don't take a crazy hit, you just take a small loss and move on. But when the gap will trade is working, so I told everybody today, people were trying to buy, buy, buy the dip. Why buy the dip? It's a downtrend. As long as the downtrend holds, you hold. Of course, Nvidia for the options trader was high, right? But even if somebody was shorting 20 shares, 30 shares, 100 shares, right? Nvidia moved 28 points today. So if you, even if you entered here, you risked $2.00. Three dollars, you still made ten, fifteen dollars. You risked a hundred dollars, hundred shares. You made fifteen hundred. So that's what the risk reward is. That's why today was this big gap, gap up, gap fill setup. So very proud of the execution. I've been teaching this for many years on the Twitter, and um, uh, I'm glad these setups came today. So I was able to teach you how these gap fill trades work. All you need is a level to risk. You need to read the price action. You need to have a trend system like my EMA cloud system, which tells me when to hold the gap, when to not. And that was my clear, clear signal. So just few simple concepts and that's it. You're done by 10 a.m. Most of our people were done by 10 a.m. It was 10 a.m. and most of people were green, right? And some did not execute. That's fine, you know, because some people can't trade at open. They you need to know how can you trade and only 12 percent people were red if they got wrong entry you know or they did not or they panicked but the process moved nicely so all right guys so this was about our gap fill trades if you have any questions about the gap fills ask me i'm going to put more examples on my website you can ask me uh, on twitter you can comment on my youtube videos I'm, i'll make sure i answer everything and uh, then of course you can join our community we do this every day i teach every i'm live on the voice i walk through everything and make sure make a better traders because i want everybody to follow the setup not blindly trading this morning i came up i opened my book okay if ema clouds hold it's a gap up long setup if it's rejecting it's gap down short setup and you see my commentary, right? I, I mention it like what, whenever something is happening, I know that it's working, it's going. So I don't just say, okay, and then leave. it. So anyways, let's go back to a recap uh, for the day. So as always, <clears throat> it was up early 45 minutes before the market open. So market open, we have our list ready. We are looking at all the, um, what are the news? DKS was down. <laughs> Novavax from my yesterday idea was moving, UPST had a PT raised. So as usual, I go through all my news sources, Lowe's, Macy's, which was a good short today, DKS, which was an amazing short, ZM, amazing short. And of course, we had Nvidia, Tesla, Amazon, and bunch of other news, Baidu, and FN, which was a solid winner as well. So you know, we have our watch list ready before the day starts. And I always tell everyone, because I... You know, for me, I'm, I don't want people to buy the alerts. I want them to execute themselves, right? That's why we have community, we have all the tools. We do it every day, be ready before the market opens and execute. And our levels were ready. And I was on voice right before the market opened, 10 minutes before talking about this gap is, you know, shorts and stuff. So, um, so that's what I said, gap updates, stocks need to hold a pullback for the long, if not, then we watch the pre-market breakout or we watch the breakdown under EMAs. So Baidu was a bearish bias for me. ZM, my call was bearish bias. DKS, my call was bearish bias. FN, my call was bearish bias. 
Macy's, my call was bearish bias. And then, um, of course, I took profit on Tesla. And then there was a Tesla gap fill. I already covered those two trades. And then I shorted Baidu right at open. I shorted Zoom right at open. Nvidia profit taking. I was guiding people on Nvidia and Tesla. And then I was DKS was the short. Short side. And we will talk about all those trades in a bit. Let's see what were our other plays at open. So AMD was, you know, the levels were given, the guidance was given. So all that was given. Marna was strong. Um, there was one more play. Uh, let's look at it. FN, right? So what was, what did I say on FN? Let's see. FN, A plus long setup, all time highs, long bias over EMA clouds, watch for the pullbacks. Why is an A plus setup? Because on the daily chart, there is no resistance. It's all time highs. Every investor is in, in money. There's no reason for, for them to sell. This setup, I nail 90% of the times out of 100. And you can too. You just have to wait for this setup. You won't chase here. I was telling on the voice, don't chase here. Let it pull back, let it pull back. When it held this level, and then when it was recovering, there was time to enter risk here and then it was sideways your risk was here or here and then it broke 150 all day trade very very nice pullback trade at 10 a.m that's my 10 a.m concept right fn look at my guidance fn still in the trend pullback zone is 147 right but we need to see 512 hold 512 held slowly reclaim 150 all day guidance locked most into the close boom easy right so that's what i want everyone to do themselves not you know i guide you know but i don't want people okay if you are learning you watch and you trade accordingly but yes of if you made money on my fn idea blindly then it will not help you but if you understand why why fn was a plus setup go look at my previous video why cat was an a plus setup why celh was an a plus setup why a net was an a plus setup all those were A plus setups, similar to this. All right, the biggest trade of the day, Zoom. All right, guys. So Zoom, faded, shorted there, under the EMA clouds, gap down, pre-market low break, short, right? So my, my target was 64 and lower, and it met our target holding the short 65 was the first target then 64 i covered more and i was out when it started reclaiming this level then i was out when i started reclaiming this level so that was how the zoom play was for us so let's look at baidu so baidu i was short right at open but then i saw the buyers coming in right so baidu was short right at open it hit 125 good good two points at the open but then it came right back so if somebody got the bad entry they were they had to stop out because it was going back up right so i was have you know heavy it was heavy i shorted some right at open then i was covering into the gap fill it hit 125.50 but as i explained if the stock doesn't make new new lower highs then i know it's going to hold i want to see lower highs lower lows but it was making making higher low higher low nope it's not going to work so i said trying to hold in first 15 minutes i gave the warning you know i had a good entry so i could hold a bit but if somebody entered here then they would have to cover right so even though it was a win for me but you know i will i will call it as a loser because because i somebody who chased got a bad entry and the the bearish the setup didn't work it chopped all day and i know some people longed it and some people showed it from pre-market highs so so baidi was there if you got a good entry at open was a good trade but let's say you know let's say it's a scratch right just for the sake of it to understand how it worked all right let's look at dks and remember, all is from our watch list. All is from pre-market preparation. I don't care 
if tomorrow is a bad day when it's a good setups i do good you know i make sure i utilize all the trades and dks today zoom tesla so today has been good day so tomorrow i don't need to pressurize too much i don't need to take low probability setups i want high probability setups so you have to wait for such day such days so don't be disheartened when you are not having when you are not having some uh, you know solid day or it's a choppy day there's not many plays to play that's fine preserve preserve your capital because when the when the day setups are there then you hit right so that's the example so anyways so dks dks was a short setup from right here i was watching for a bounce but i didn't see the bounce then but i still started anyways because it was breaking this pre market low i was risking this high of the day candle and then scalping short small size because i don't want anybody to go big big in it and then get destroyed but i was covering right away on the flush 110 was my target met the target 110 from 115 met the target hit over 110 target and the bounce holding last piece and by end of the day i covered everything i was out right you see the most of the trade the bigger trade was right at open that's where you were making the most of the money right so that was dks let's look at messi not my personal trade but that was my idea bearish bias as long as under 3450 and mem faded all day same setup push to 512 of em clouds fail you short stops here because you can't keep holding 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 if this pushes you break you get out then wait for another entry maybe close to the em clouds you know there were some levels that could you could have used the level here or level here and doubt it would have gone up that that high but that's the point right so messi was another good idea let's see if i miss something so um yeah i am we had some midday midday trades where i was talking about this 176 buyer it's holding up intraday chart and it was good scalps from 176 to 177 all day buy here sell there not an a plus setup but just some scalps missed the pnw trade today uh yep so that was there so let's look at our nova vax so nova vax as i mentioned on twitter yesterday you know the covid theme it was gaining steam 40% short you know it was a um, nice nice little setup because i like the daily risk was defined let's look at it this way okay so nova vax today 885 it even hit um, 940s 950s the yesterday idea was at under the 8 bucks you know clear defined risk downtrend break market hype sector hype you know good uh, good swing there on nova vex so then there were some uh, intraday trades and then after that you i don't like to keep buying the dips those are low probability setups i help people if they are looking for the levels but main money was made in the open and all over all day shorts and all day longs then you are trying to buy the dips and it's just you know chop right so baidu was a chop yeah and i of course my vix guidance all day vix was holding 7 so market was fading so um, oh there was a good trade on the trading floor by a lot of people on hkd so there are so many ideas shared all day in our community hkd by william and lucy aragon everybody i just love my community i mean so many good traders sharing the ideas not blind alerts but sharing the ideas and then you look at the chart you decide what to do and you know it's it's just so so good so that's how that's why you trade in a community stay together yeah the banks i had the news that banks were downgraded this morning on the kre i personally didn't focus on it because i was having so many other good trades but if you see the kre was the regional banks were downgraded and then you know it's a big downgrade you focus on the banks you focus on the um uh the etf and then you nail it we had nice nice um, nice on our so we have a bio tracker list we track the bios uh, you know we don't tell anybody to buy or sell investment we just share the ideas what are the good names to keep eye on apls was on our list 
in our bio tracker and boom went up high from 31 to 42 today really good so, you know so thanks to many um, bio traders uh, on twitter and in our community who keep help us to find these plays so uh, yeah tesla was bouncing from 230 there's some trades intraday from 230 some scalps low probability setups so yeah guys that was the day tesla nvidia gap fill trades and then there was zoom all day short dks all day short macy all day short fn long we do it every day you know find your setups find your risk level take the trade repeat rinse repeat and as you see you have to come prepped every day you can't come here and just wake up at 9 30 and see okay what are people alerting what are people trading and just blindly jump in so that's the key So yeah, all right guys, so that was it. Hopefully you guys learned a lot about the gap fill trades and you learned about the process. Um, uh, if you like to trade with the community, come in our community, come for our education, the tools, don't come for the alerts. And we, you know, I want to make good consistent traders and as I have been doing for years to help everyone and we will kill it. All right guys, stay safe, keep learning and see you tomorrow.